my god, you must be so proud. Oh, you're working on a door. In Halifax, England, this woman is getting kicked out of a pub. Alright, come on, Joe, let's go. Yeah, you right. black Thanks, lads. man. Thanks, lads. Black. That video is That's going. why you get a name. Yeah. Yeah, black. See you later. Yeah. And that is not the end of it. Woman arrested after you black man abuse hurled at Halifax Mouser. You right. black Thanks, lads. man. Thanks, lads. Black. That video is That's going. That's why you get a name. Yeah. Yeah, black. West Yorkshire police have confirmed a woman who has not been identified has been arrested on suspicion of a racially aggravated public order offense. It comes after a woman was filmed leaving a bar in Halifax on Friday, January 6. West Yorkshire police confirmed the arrest following the incident which took place at Vine Bar in Stanlin Road, Westvale, Halifax. The woman remains in custody and police are carrying out inquiries into the situation. In a statement posted on social media, the force said, a woman has been arrested this evening on suspicion of a racially aggravated public order offense and assault in relation to an incident that occurred at Vine Bar in Stanlin Road, Westvale, Halifax. In other words, at least for a few hours, this Karen was placed behind bars. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. I'm not sure what's more interesting, the story or the graphic. Did we get that about right? <laughs> I wonder how her spray-on tan held up in the local jail. Anyway, kudos to the local West Yorkshire police for taking this report of a hate incident seriously. Also, it is certainly interesting that in some countries there is a law in the books called racially aggravated public order offense. There are public disorder laws in many U.S. states, but they require more than offensive speech. Because almost all speech in the United States is protected by the Constitution's First Amendment. So in the United States, you literally have to threaten somebody with violence. In the U.K., you can be arrested for expressing racial or religious hatred. Now, whether you agree with that law or not, it is certainly interesting. And one imagines that a lot of Karens in the United States might be tamped down a bit if they knew there was a similar law against their overt racism. Then again, when Karens are true to themselves and get recorded on video, there is public shame. <laughs> In West Yorkshire, England, at Vine Bar, this particular Karen story gets more interesting. Local media say the bouncer who was targeted was on his first day back after the winter break. That's right, he came back from vacation, and on his very first night, he had to deal with this obnoxious and hate-filled woman. We've said it before and we will say it again across the United States, in the UK and around the world, people who work at restaurants, bars and other public service jobs have to deal with far more abuse than most of us could ever imagine. Thankfully, in this era of cell phone cameras, some folks can now defend themselves. The video record has become a great equalizer. You say whatever crap you hear in your small pathetic mind and cold disturbing heart and the internet with social media and instant sharing apps will make you pay. To be fair, the woman in this video did not use the N-word, and one could argue that her language was not nearly as degrading and offensive as we literally see every day at a McDonald's or Waffle House in the United States. Plus, the woman was not violent, just rude. But she is still a public nuisance, so I'm glad she is facing some legal repercussions. All hatred, even a little, is upsetting. And maybe the next time the spray-on tan Karen goes to a bar or pub, she will think twice about causing a ruckus and taking out her frustrations on the staff. Life is challenging enough for all of us. If you cannot behave in public, don't go out. Stay home and yell at your TV or computer or other inanimate objects. All of us, even in the UK, deserve better. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.